What is up and is going on guys, Simpsy here and welcome back to another episode of my Kings and Rivers and Hills House Lannister. Now man, it's probably been a month since I've played this well, particular campaign, it's been fucking ages. So I really do need to do like a recap for myself essentially. I've been playing Total War but I've done a couple of hot seats here and there but I've been playing a lot more FIFA and other games but okay, let's get into the campaign. So we've currently, looks like we're finishing off the last of House Mud here. Um, Jason, Kings of Rivers Hills. I, 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 Kings of Rivers and Hills. Yeah, I wouldn't actually think that he's probably a mud. I don't know. Maybe he's like a Blackwood or something. One of the Darries or something. There's only a couple houses actually left. But basically, we currently have Axel Gardner. We have Prince Jeron, and then we have uh Ray Lannister attacking Rosby. We currently have Quentin Crakel. Is he my best commander? Yeah, fuck, he's just shot up. Uh also we have the Kings over here. No, Walder Grey Stark and then there's King Kevin, okay. I currently have Tiger Gardener. Now, I did have him at High Garden situated here, but seeing that um just have a look quick look at the family tree for a sec. He does have a brother. And I thought we might as well give, uh, uh, yeah, Tiget Gardner, uh, Selmond Gardner. Obviously, it's not Gardner. For some reason, the game randomly generated as Spicer. There's nothing I can do about that. I can't edit it. So, I probably could in the files, but I really can't be bothered. But uh, it's Gardner. I'm not pronouncing it wrong. It's because Axel's 74 years old, and he's only got a four-star uh, command. Bedrick Bainford. Oh, funnily enough, Dennis Lannister, he's just, turn he's just about turned 60. Had another son, Miron Lannister, he's zero years old, he's just got born, so it's interesting. So basically, let's re I need to see who's in the game. Is House Hallway even here? Yeah, fucking hell. So once we finish off the last of House Mud, uh, we're going to march north with um, Walder Greystark at the head of the army. We're going to claim, or well, he's going to claim King in the North, oh sorry, uh, Warden of the North, because basically I haven't, I'm gonna, I haven't decided what I'm going to divvy out lands wise because there's a lot of Lannisters, so we need to figure out that. But obviously Walter Greystark, um, the Boltons are pretty much own the North at the moment, and I think well Stark, Greystark, and King, he probably has more of a claim to there because really the Boltons took it by conquest. House Aaron, I have no ambition of betraying them because they are my kin. Obviously, Kevin married an Aaron, and then Geron, who was half Aaron, actually, funnily enough, married his cousin. But he's had two daughters, which is not looking good. Uh, last couple of turns, now, there have been, I think I must have been two or three uh, on both sides. It's been faction leader killed, so there's a bloody war going down on at dawn. And uh, funnily enough, I can't really back either side because I was thinking right once we get rid of um the muds I might send one or two stacks down to help uh get rid of House Martell because we did support the Ironwoods in uh taking the mountains because obviously when I was taking the gardens I didn't want anyone to attack me and it was just kind of a mutual beneficial thing but uh the Arons actually have an alliance with House Martell which is interesting so if they actually declare war on me will the Arons pact with their kin I don't know if the game would do that, but we can't go down and help in Dawn because, yeah, that's a fucking sticky situation. We could betray the Iron Woods and give at uh, the Iron Woods and give Martell but over Dominion, but I don't know. Storm Kings, I'm not too sure what they're doing. They're kind of just chilling. I really should have married. Um, there's a lot of Durian daughters here, so I probably should have married onto them. But that's a great cap of what we're doing. We're gonna push for the campaign now. So let's actually take Rosby with we'll, we'll take with the Prince. Uh, because um, he's the prince, he needs to get a better command. So, Jason, um, Jason, zero, yeah. Member of House Blackwood. Fucking knew it. If I get the Darry one right, I'm going to be fucking ridiculous. Well, Darry keep, I kind of got it half right. Founder of a royal house, yeah. So, it gets to that point when he gets down to the generals. There's no muds left. So, I'll take Rosby now. We will sack. The Kings of Rivers and Hills is dead. Walder Greystark, Quentin Craco. We might as well give Greystark a bit of command. Stefron King of Rivers and Hills, Lord of Duskendale. What is he? <laughs> he's incredibly bore boring. And he's a member of House Darry. What a fucking guess. And a founder of a royal house. So, there officially goes House Mud. Man, House Hoa must, like, only have... Yeah, they must have that. I don't know how long I got those trade rights ago, but fucking hell. House Mud is officially dead. 
and we've taken out the last of the scum. So, we're going to rally up now, and uh, I must just quickly restart Fraps for a sec. I have no idea why, but Fraps started to lag quite significantly. But um, we're going to move north here. We'll move the Prince first things first. Axel can go with him. We're basically just going to make our uh, way north. Um, I do have some spare troops here I'll put into Rosby from the Antlers. Oh, man, I really do need to repair and probably should build a... No, probably should repair and then build a Sept. So, I don't know how long the Boltons are going to last <laughs> once I march north. It's going to be interesting. Well, I was recruiting ships there because I was going to march on the Martels, but then I realized... It's fucking um, Aaron Kin. Oh, Aaron Alliance. So we do need to fix up the antlers. So I'm just going to recruit some spear militia just to kind of just be like a shitty sort of garrison. Not really I care all, care all that much. Um, Dusk and Dale put on a low tax rate. Very much the same thing. We'll just start recruiting uh, troops nearby just to help, help out the uh, order, I guess. Public order. Oh, Dusk and Dale. Probably going to have to leave a fair bit of troops here. Oh, that's not too bad. Well, we'll start making our nor way north to Old Stones. I do actually have uh, Walder Serres, who came of age quite a while ago, but uh, he's chilling with Ray Lannister, and we have Leo Tarbeck, who is a really good commander, uh, and he is with Roland Lannister. So we'll start making our way north now. Uh, yeah, we'll rally up at Old Stones. I just need to make sure everyone's going there this turn. Man, it's the only thing when you're moving like six stacks, it's a pain in the ass. Oh, we might even be better off going through Aran lands. Yeah, we might as well just do that. But the rest, guys, you can make your way north. I've changed my mind. We'll, so, we'll go this way. It's just so I don't have to click this. I'm only going to have to do this once. Well, for how many turns I'm marching them at least. I'm sure we can get some more. We'll recruit some cell swords to put in this army. We can send these guys out once we get our reinforcements. So we got Tiger Gardner coming. Uh, he'll march north as well. Am I missing anyone else? Oh, Rolf Lannister. Well, I guess you could go with your cousin. We'll just just we'll just span the cavalry because we don't really need that. And it's not like we're losing that much money <laughs> to be quite honest. So we're in the turn here. Oh yeah, I forgot that they have that. Uh. We're gonna go. We're gonna make a head-on push for the neck. Uh, Grey Stark is gonna march with the might of pretty much the Seven Kingdoms behind him. Uh, Master Cell Swords at Darry Keep. No, thank you. New mission: Send an Emirate to House Martell. I don't really want to negotiate with them. Now it's kind of good that I got Tiger out of High Garden because it looks like there's some sort of play going on here. Whoa, who's this? Summer Krakow. Oh, uh, died. Okay. Relationships improved with House Aaron. That's good. Okay. We'll think about moving. Okay, everyone's. I've already got everyone to move north, haven't I? I think I do need to rally up those troops there, though. Uh, hang on. Can I move those troops out of Duskendale yet? Probably not quite, yeah. I'll just move them out just a bit. Uh, we'll try and move some other ones here into Duskendale. Makes it yellow. These two tro troops should probably rally up with him, yeah. We can still take troops out of Rook's Crest. That's interesting. Not so much anymore, though. Okay. And we'll just recruit some more troops where we can, I guess. Public order to pay in the ass. <laughs> It'll be interesting to see what the Storm Kings do. How are our relations with them? Relations, reasonable. Relations, so and so. Relations, good. So it probably could be better with the Arons. But uh, Tiger Gardener's coming up. I love how that the Gardener, well, basically the heir to High Garden, is got Ty, that Lannister Ty sort of name. Okay, it looks like the Arons are actually mar rallying north. Maybe they'll march with us. So who's this? Line or Lin? King of the Mountain? No, oh, the King of the Vale's there. Robber Royce? Whoa, Eon Hunter. Wow, look at the plague. And Kyle Aaron, that's interesting. Man, they are really rallying up here. Great, brilliant. Wardle Grey Stark, we're marching north because of him and his claim. And fucking, he's gonna desert us. Brilliant. 
Deathstalk's the land of the golden tooth. God damn it. We'll continue the march north. I don't know why it is so laggy. It's just, uh... I'll quickly just reach for start traps again. I have no idea why it's so laggy. It's kind of odd. Getting these little bit of lag chunks. Rickard Wells, man. You're going to get a shock once you see what's coming up the bloody... Probably should move in this one, yeah. When you bloody see what's coming up to the quay in the north. Once we take, like... There's no point of sailing ships around and flanking because... Once, sorry about that, guys. Uh, I just realised I was uploading in the background. That's why I was just a little bit blaggy. It should be a little bit better now, but man. Okay. Um, I, th I can't remember what I was doing. I think I was just because there was a couple of units here that weren't quite moving up. Got a little bit stuck, but that's all right. Um, oh, those replacement units. Because who had a bit of a lower lower sort of army? It was Grey Stark, wasn't it? But everyone will move at the end turn. Man, <laughs> the Arons will be pissed seeing that many troops at their borders. Luckily, we're married to them. Golden Tooth lost 500 citizens. End term report. House Lannister has the military. Wow, Storm Kings have the financial and production. I'm surprised they have the production. Really? The Stormlands has a bigger production. Probably. Um, I recruited more troops at Old Stones. Brilliant. I love when you can't remember that type of stuff. Okay. Still marching north, it seems. I'm just trying to think. Should we... Should we make Grace Stark take first blood, essentially? On the north, or... Nah, fuck it, because it will take too long. We're coming to the final stages of this campaign because I don't want to. I don't want to attack the Arons because they're my kin. Uh, Ironwood and Martell. I have no ambition to go down south. We have no blood loyalty. I don't really want. I don't, don't even think I want Dawn. As well, <laughs> to be quite honest, faction announcements. Ellis Lannister. Oh, it's a family tragedy. Man, who the hell's that? Lannister. 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 What? Who? Family tragedy. Alyssa Lannister. Who the hell is Alyssa Lannister? It's not his wife. It's not his wife. It's not his wife. What the fuck? Who the hell's that? Hmm. Anyway, we got a Brax that came of age. We've got a lot of Brax and Serrets here and Stack Spear. Stack Stack Spear. What a fucking weird name. <laughs> Doesn't seem very Game of Thrones-ish. Ah, Spicer. Okay. Well, oh yes. I was meant to put these into that army. Okay. We'll march Tarbeck north, but... Looks like we're going to have some sort of little resistance at Moat Kalen. Now that guy definitely looks like a bloody bolt in there. You're on worlds. By his picture, he looks like it. Like, I remember Duron's uh, display picture. If you guys see it, we're losing so much money. Uh, where is it? He looks perfect. That is a perfect, random, generated, uh, d photo of, um, of him. So, Garth actually has a, uh, Walder actually has a son. Garth Greystark. I'm going to do a save here. Faction announcements. Oh, no. He died. Axel, the warrior's son. He ended up marrying Elena Lannister, but, man... He really did help us in that war against the Reach, and uh, he ended up getting the Reach for it, so his bloodline's secure. So now Tyget, Tyget Gardner, is Warden of the South and Warden of the Reach. Okay, um, so now that now we have a free spot now. Who has a spare general with him? Ah, perfect. Serret, uh, there's a Lannister there, so I'll move you there. We're still moving north. I'm gonna. I'm not gonna wait for. I probably should have done this off camera, to be quite honest. But I wanted to show. I wanted to capture. Um, getting rid of Gardner, man. <laughs> they must know something's about to hit the fan here. They're gonna be so fucking pissed. Um, I was yeah. It was Sarah, yeah. So yeah. Oh god, we're losing so much money. This is ridiculous. Have we got any... Oh, we got another army still coming. <laughs> How many stacks are we marching north with? God damn. 
Oh shit, did that fucking shit thing. They doubled back. Right. Ugh, a little bit of lag and... I don't know why this recording system is lagging. So we've got one, two, three, four, five... Wait. We've got three, we've got six there. Fuck me. Seven, eight. We've got eight and a half. Dusk and Dale still not looking too happy. I didn't need to keep an eye on that. I don't really wish to lose Dusk and Dale, but... Probably should have sacked it more. Fair few spearmen in High Garden. Walk them on. We'll continue to march north, though. Um, I guess you could have my assistance. What are you fighting? You're fighting rebels. Brilliant. So you, like, come on, Lannisters, bring your 4,000 troops. It's a 90 to 1 ratio. It's against a couple of bowmen. It's the Brotherhood without banners. <laughs> what the fuck, man? Aaron, what are you, what are you playing at? Ah, uh, the AI. Dennis Lannister, eh? What the fuck do you get that in? Three-star command. What the hell? I've totally forgot about that guy. He's got a couple of sons that are alright command, but he's not very capable, to be quite honest. Man, the Boltons must be shitting their pants. Look at fucking that. That's awesome. It's, near, it's nearly as awesome. Just seeing that marching north is awesome. As we're going to be the first house in Westeros history. To take Moat Kaelin by force. But we're losing money, so we could lose all of our fucking army before we get there. Damon Kenning, House Kenning. Once again, hasn't really produced any good commanders, but we'll leave it at that. Tarbeck, good on ya. <laughs> you dickhead. Okay. We're still not in range, but I guess. Uh, man, fuck, there's some troops here. We might as well get into position. God damn it, man. This is brilliant. <laughs> yeah, if you guys um, haven't seen my House, my Kings and Rivers and Hills House Start campaign, I've done a couple of House Start campaigns on uh, New Beginning. Oh, nope. Uh, new Beginning and just need to quickly check the diplomacy. Yeah. They're not allies with like Martell or something fucking ridiculous. <laughs> um, but no. Uh, yeah, I basically took all of Westeros to that and it worked out quite well because I pretty much took a kingdom... Uh, I took a kingdom every time uh, a Stark came of age. So I had like a sixth generation of Stark as king. Um, I did put a screenshot in the Total War Center. Now, Embryo Gardner. Obviously, it's not it's not Gardner, it's pain. But Stefan Yarwick. He's 59 years of age. But mind you, she is 31. So she's probably only got like 10 or 15 years of childbearing left. So even though he is old... I think I'm going to do it. So, Stefan Yarwick, you can stay at... I don't know why you're at... Um, High Garden. But you might as well make your trek down to your nef... Oh, it's your brother-in-law, isn't it? But, God, it's probably... The age difference between uh, him and <laughs> Selman Gardner. He's pretty much be his grandson, pretty much. Married his sister, what the fuck. Okay. Now, what are the Boltons throwing at us here? So, we got Danny Burley. Okay, that's interesting. We've got Richard Wells. Man, they've actually rallied an alright force, but I don't think it's going to be enough to throw us back. <laughs> Man, that's a pretty good force they've fielded. But, obviously, I have a ridiculous force. Okay, so I'm trying to figure out which ones we should play, because can everyone... Actually, I think I should just get everyone into position. Because I think, man, we can't, we're not quite in range to put everyone in. I wouldn't be surprised if the game crashes because it's getting a little bit laggy. We're in the turn once more because there must be nearly like 10,000 troops there. Probably more. There's about 3,000 in a stack, isn't there? Fuck's sake. 
Oh my god, where's Grey Stark? Okay, I'm gonna yeah, I'm gonna get Grey Stark to uh, start us off, I guess. We'll send. I think we might send Tarbek to cover the retreat, essentially, because we're gonna take fucking Moat Kalen. Oh my god, this is awesome. This is awesome. I can't wait. Hawa, Hawa wants to get into it because they know they're gonna lose their last bit. Prince Yon, what? Yo, yo, wait, what? Johan, Johan? I think I, I think I know you say. It. What a weird name. Sounds very German or Swiss, or whatever. Okay, we're going to do a save and we are going to declare war on House Bolton. Grey Stark marched with. I probably should count how many sacks in here. So actually, I might do that. Well. How much is roughly in a sack? Two, anywhere between 2,000, man. Okay. So we've got our first battle coming up here. Um, it's a 5 to 2, so I think I might, like, let reinf... Oh, should I go night attack? Cuts down a 1,000 troops. It's okay. We'll play this one, though, against... Oh, fuck, hang on. Greystark doesn't even have that good of an army, does he? Shit, I probably shouldn't go with Greystark, because I, I forgot those reinforcements are here. I probably should go with a better army. Maybe... Ah, oh, fuck. That kind of fucked up the whole realism sort of thing. Maybe I should just attack with the king on this side. Uh, he only really can attack Mike Caitlin, can't he? Well, we'll besiege Mike Caitlin at least. I'm trying to think which is the best. Probably, might, might as well just use the fucking prince's army, I reckon. Oh, the army got pushed out. Brilliant. And so did this one. Well, we might as well sim this battle here. 